that guy, what's his name? Jerry Jacob. So, something with a J. Or, it was Danny's cousin. Danny's cousin. Never, I don't even think he actually knew Danny. Maybe not. No. All I know is he's from out west. He's from out west, um, where you work. Um, but, oh my god, never even knew Danny. Like, never, not even in all his life, I don't think. And still went on for fucking three hours with his fucking knee G. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Sorry, I've just... I've been a bit tired. It's been a long week. <laughs> what is it you do again out west? Or oh, that, yeah, out west. Yeah, um, I'm an investigative reporter. Just a lot of freelance stuff right now. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I yeah. work for a local magazine. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, are, are you okay? Or? Oh, yeah, I'm just I'm tired lately. It's been a long week. Well, I can't imagine what you must be going through. I mean... You have everything mean you guys were very, very close.
London Fog with Cream Cheese Bagel, I take it? Yeah, I'm surprised you remember my order. Oh my god, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That was all me. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. I owe you a new sweater. And I'm Spencer. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how long have you been at West? I don't know. Maybe a few months. Uh, I, I have a hard time remembering. A journalist who can't remember. <sighs> Beautiful. I mean, I take a lot of notes. Oh, okay, okay. Do you think you'll be here long? I don't know. Um, I don't really have things figured out. I mean... Things haven't been going so well lately, uh, um, but I, I mean, I, I keep telling people it's just going to be a few days, but in reality, I don't really know. So until I get things figured out, I'm just staying at my dad's place. Well, that's sweet of you. Well, if you're bored or ever need to take your mind off things, you should definitely stop by Chucky's Bar and Grill. Really? Yeah. Chef's kiss. The really? best of the best. I. <laughs> I can't, I can't hold it. No, I can't. I'm
all due respect, are you sure this is the right course of action? If anyone finds out what we're doing here... They won't find out. Surely there's another way. He has a point. What you're suggesting isn't just highly illegal, but it's also unethical. What we've created here, I don't even want to think about it. It isn't real. We made it in a goddamned lab. Besides, the benefits from these experiments would far outweigh any moral implications. All right, uh, Jesse Monroe killed sometime between 1 and 3 a.m. due to blunt force trauma in the head. <sighs> what are you thinking? Ah, uh, could have just been a domestic dispute. I mean, according to their neighbors, just got out of an unpleasant relationship. Angry ex, maybe? Yeah, maybe. What do you think? I don't know. It's just a hot show.
there's an active crime scene. No, 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 you don't understand. My friend is in there. You say you know who lives there? Yeah, it's my friend. Uh, is she okay? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Um, sure. Okay, how long have you known her? Um, since high school. Okay. I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Do you know any ex-boyfriends? Somebody that might have a motivation to hurt me? I don't know. I haven't really seen her in a few years. She could have. I okay, the last thing I'm going to ask you is why do you want to come here to see her? What? It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I assume that you came here for a reason. Um, I, uh... Maybe for a time where you feel a little bit more together. Can you call right there? Stay safe. I just... I don't really understand why... Yep. What was all that about? I guess the chief doesn't want any press. What? Yeah, they're giving it to major crimes. If any information gets out, it could interfere with the operation and... It's bullshit. I know. Wait, what are you gonna do? I don't know yet. Fuck are you? Whatever you're selling, I ain't Hi, I'm Abel. I'm a freelance journalist, and I was wondering if you could help me with me. Look, I'm writing about a serial killer, and I was hoping you could help me. Look, can you please fuck off? Thank you. It's about Charlie, okay? I know about Charlie. What does that name mean to you? Look, I'm trying to find anything I can about the case, and you seem to be the only person who knows what is going on. So will you help me or not?
do you know so far? Okay, so from what I've been able to understand is that there's clearly been a string of murders and disappearances over the past six months. Wrong! You're on the right track, though, but this is even bigger than you understand. Alright, let's get this. 25 years ago or so, a bunch of scientists moved to the island by this house up in the middle of fucking nowhere. They're meeting up once a month, having orgies, smoking weed. God knows what they're doing. Nobody knows what the hell it is. All they know is it's out in the woods. Get this. Now about 15 years ago, there was a fire in the area. Burned the whole fucking place down. Cops came up, busted the joint, took a bunch of names. Nothing. No foul play. Case fucking closed. I'm sorry, but what does this have to do with the mass killer? Well, because every killing has got to start somewhere. All right, see what you don't realize is that all of these people, this is all connected, all right? And if you go back far enough, you can find the trace of all of it. Because every murder's gotta start somewhere, right? Well, these are the oldest murders here. I was able to trace. You notice any connections there? They're all doctors, but the look, visit- Okay, look, look. I know it seems like a bone of strings here, all right? But take a look at this. trip up to the doctor's house myself. Wasn't anybody really around, but I managed to find that. See, all these doctors, we supposedly never knew each other, right? But look at that. Four of them in the same fucking picture. The fuck does that tell you? What is Swan Lake? Let's see. I wanted the same thing myself. So I did a little bit more digging, all right? Turns out you can't find anything about this shit in the public archives, nothing, all right? But I did manage to find something. There's a bunch of scientists who put together some kind of proposal for a new facility out in Perry Sound or some shit. And the name of the place was supposed to be Swan Lake, but they never got government approval, so it was shut down. So what do you think they just got together independently? November 13th, 1999, Charlie responded really well to our latest rounds of tests. Charlie. Yeah, they seem to go on about him for a while. I mean, could be fucking code for something else, but I don't know, it's probably not the case. Sure, is this guy Charlie? They were experimenting on like it was a lab rat. Some serious fucking nim shit. Until it burned down. After that, anybody involved with Swan Lake starts disappearing. And then those people start disappearing. The people that know them and the people who know them too. But the biggest goddamn problem is that there's no way to prove any of this. Because see, other than the little bits of evidence that I managed to put together, it seems like they took everything with them to the fucking grave. I just figure as long as I can find this fucking swan lake that I could get down there and figure out for myself, but... Why haven't you looked for it? There's probably nothing left. There's nothing to be found. It's a fool's fucking case. So when did you decide to give up? You fucking kidding me? This guy's been on a killing spree for the last 15 fucking years. All right, he could be fucking anywhere. In fact, he's probably fucking watching us right now. I think you can get the fuck out of my apartment now. How did that go? It took a long 
guys. What use this town? You from here? Yeah. Where'd you live before here? Hamilton. It's right underneath Toronto. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. How does it you know, compare to? Hamilton's fucked up. It's got a lot of problems. But I kind of respect people know about its problems. No one tries to hide it. Yeah. But here it's like they cover up the shit that goes on underneath. I can't respect something like that. You're talking about Charlie, are you? It's, it's part of it. Not the whole thing, but it's part of it. Where are you going?
foot? Jesus, didn't I tell you to just let it go? Look, I know, but I I might have a lead. A guy named Miles Stone, do you know him? Hey. Alright, I can look into it for you, but I wanna know where this is coming from, alright? Um It's a long story. Everything okay? Um. Talk to me. What's happening? Uh, uh, um. I. I. I don't know. I've been having these vivid dreams. About um, the killer and who he's killing. Crows mostly. A little girl. Rabbit man. I don't know, but that's not even the worst part. I I can see the killer. I can see him killing people. Jesus Christ. No, I said fucking crazy. Were any of the victims particularly close to you? Yes. Do you, um... Do you think it goes both ways? What? Okay, if I can see him in my dreams, do you think he... Do, do you think he can see me? Do you think he knows about me? I think I'd recommend laying low for a while if I were you. Don't go anywhere, just stay inside and keep your fucking doors locked. Hi. Hi. It was so good to see you again last night. Yeah, you too. What? 
You ran off. Sorry, I just. Oh yeah, you know you could have told me if the music was bad. Oh no, I swear it wasn't that. I just I had a long beat. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Alright, because you can always tell me if something is... Hey, where the, where the fuck are you looking at? Oh. Uh, uh, what, where are you? Okay, well, I'll see you again on Earth. This is your first party, Maple. Because I might forget a name. I might forget my dad's birthday, but I never forget a pretty face. And I look a little bit closer. But where from? Yeah, we've been a lot of places. We've been a lot of places. Where do I? Where do I? Big Fred. Big Fred. I. You must be thinking about another Maple. I. I have Are you sure? Were you at Abdul's? No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know. Like I said, you must be thinking of another major. I don't know that much. Nice. I don't know who that is. Well, I could stand here 
listen every party me and Miles have been to in the last six months. As well as I can remember him, and you can keep saying, Oh, no, it's a fucking night. Well, like, that's the name you hear every day. Or, Paco, tell me where I know you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can get to know each other now, but I'm feeling I'm not that interested in that. So I figured it's at least a good conversation. You know what? Maybe I did meet you at another party a few years back. I, I, I kind of forgot. I, I, I moved out of, of town for a while. Mm-hmm. Well, if you were at a party a few years back, I'm sure I've been there. Maybe. But why would I remember your face? been having these dreams where my friends are coming in and killed and then I, I wake up and then they're actually killed in real life and you know I so I don't know uh, maybe, you're clairvoyant or some shit? I don't fucking know. I, talking to ghosts? No. <laughs> I, just, I have dreams about a murderer and so maybe I can I don't know I can figure out who the killer is and I can stop him from killing. Yeah, I'm having dreams about you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you asking about? I know almost everyone in this room front to back. My memory ain't too good, but it can be dropped. Um, I don't know. I have much from the research I can figure out. I think his name is Miles. Oh. Well, uh, ain't that a nice little coincidence. You're either huh, talking about Miles B, who was here once. Oh. He had the bomb leg. I think his parents are Mormons. Yeah. Big cokehead. Big cokehead. But uh, he hasn't been around here in eight nine months. I think he moved to Wisconsin or something. So uh, it's Miles with an I or Miles with a Y. If that's who you're talking to. So enlighten me. Which one of us is a serial killer? You're the investigator. I, I don't know. I it, it was just, you know, I guess. You really think it was us? I, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't have enough evidence. So. Yeah, I got some evidence. <laughs> yeah. We'll meet up sometime. We can talk about it. Connect some dots together. Now I'm going to go get a cider. You want me to? No, no, no. Yeah, those things just me, you know. Any questions for me? I haven't really answered any questions yet. I like to talk to you. I like to ask you questions. I think the pieces are going to get really right.
Holy shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Other than these dreams. <laughs> anything else you can give me? Any leads, clues, <laughs> things that you've heard? I don't know. Everything just seems like a Oh, yeah. Oh, is it a compound? Alright, um... How about the Floyd guy? Yeah, that's right. Does he think he might be able to reach out to him and answer any questions? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's already dead. He saw it in my dreams. Alright, um... Yeah. You probably think I'm nuts, don't you? So, I'm be honest with you, I think this whole town is fucking nuts. And, um. <laughs> this is just as believable as anything else in the room, so. Yes? There was one thing. What? Swan Lake. The ballet? No. Okay, so Floyd was saying that there was like this, some experimental something building in the middle of the woods somewhere. Okay, and I think I might know where it is. I mean, first of all, you say somewhere in the woods. That basically breaks down the whole island, I mean. Okay, but I think I know where it is. Right? So, what if we go there? Is this a place where you confirm actually exists, or was it just this nutbag that I've I've seen it. Wow. I've seen it.
test number 765 and the subject called Shirley. Shirley, as of recently, has become more violent and aggressive. She tried to escape several times. If that were to happen, it would undo all the work we did. Uh,
you think was Hawthorne? I don't know, okay? I, I don't know, and I don't fucking care. And I just... I just want the nightmares to stop, okay? I want this to all fucking end. <laughs> no, I don't even know anymore, okay? It's just this fucking town, okay? And the people in it. This town freaking sucks the fucking life out of you, and I can't be here anymore. I just, I don't, I want to leave. I know, I know what you mean. I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, okay. I can't. Okay, okay, <laughs> shh, shh, shh. All right, listen, listen. Look at me. We're gonna leave. First thing tomorrow, okay? No more killing. We just, we forget about all this. First thing tomorrow. No, tonight. We need to leave tonight. It's on video. Wow. Wow. So fucking funny. I'd be lost to search. You cannot go in there. I really want to. Okay. But you can't. No, it's a really hot day, I swear. But you just got this sweater. Okay, I'm gonna No, don't. Oh, for the love of God, no. Come here. Mabel! I can't get the camera wet. Oh my god. The sweater was like $300. How much is the sweater? We need to get, we need to get a video for your father. Because... What do you mean why? He knows we're together and I like your dad. Your but dad's nice. Don't... Okay, so hold on. You don't like your dad. I just, I don't have a good relationship with him and I feel like he's a good Okay, so how about this? To make him care? What if you were to kill him? That's not funny. No, I'm serious. You pretend to kill me and then he gets all scared and shit. And he's like, oh my god, my daughter's fucking insane. Because you're insane. In a you are insane. psychotic. You're insane in a good way. Oh my god. I'm psychotic? I'm gonna fucking I think you're psychotic. You're gonna kill me? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna actually kill you. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, well, don't get your hopes up.
there's been a, no word from Hawthorne. Last I heard, he went to go find that woman. What was her name again? Find out what happened here. When they find out what I've done. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea how long I've worked on this case? Five years. Five whole years without a single night's rest. Five fucking years of slaving over the same damn thing day and day and day after night and night and night consistently what the fuck have you done consistently for the past five fucking years besides eat and wipe the shit out of your fucking ass And in those five years, only two people cared about this case. We made a plan for this. And you know what we realized? Mabel. Mabel. She's known who the killer is this entire time. She just doesn't want to accept it. She's trapped herself in this psychological prison caught in this endless loop of searching for this killer that always just eludes her. I mean, I mean, I thought that if we could cut our way in, construct our own path for her, a true enough one, one that could get us all of the answers that we needed. So you manipulated her, you took advantage of her. That's that's what she did. It's, it's just uh, it's just a means to an end. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, sir. That doesn't change how kind of fucked it is. You really think that for all of human history? For all of the progress that we have made for the thousands of years that we have existed, that we got there because we are kind? Because we're moral? Are you kidding me? I have worked my ass off for this case. I have cut corners. I have done everything. I have put my moral compass aside for the greater good of humanity, for the progress that we have been searching for. And what do I get? I get three dead officers on my hands. I get the federal department on my ass. <laughs> and I get to go to jail. And I get to live with all of this for the rest of my life. You understand? I still don't get it. It's, it's so important about Mabel, but what's so significant about her? Why is she so important? She's... everything.
this ghost town, feeling easy. My legs are giving out, stomach queasy. Mind playing tricks on me. Who gon' free me? No one can get me out. Not that easy. Don't fuck with my money, don't fuck with my man. Uh, Metal finger up if I offend you. Metaphorical speech is my lingo. Catastrophe is my reality. Ho, what am I wrong? I just want blood. What am I wrong? I just want war. What would this one? What peace of mind? Get for world peace from a peace sign. It's just the blind be leading the blind. But who gonna free their minds? Who gonna free the free the? Who gonna free the free the? Ain't no disciples, there ain't no morals Bring out the Bibles, bring out the Torahs Fuck out the idols, fuck out the order Bring out the drum, bring out the chorus Fuck all this, there ain't no morals Bring out the pop, bring out the toys Fuck out the idols, fuck out the order Bring in the drums and bring in the car <laughs> Demons be playing with me and they not alone Let's go I'm stuck up with all of these battles, I'm all alone no. I'm so far away, so far from home, far from home I'm so far away, so far, far, far they want to play with me and they're not alone, no Don't wanna fight my battles with me, I don't wanna know I'm stuck in the forest, I'm stuck in the And I'm running away from my problems I'm dreaming, but how I'm gonna solve them Needing a reason to knock at the bottom today The creeping that got on the way Am I the girl that they left for her To bury me inside my grave Not even a pill could give me this thrill Now how could that be, hey? Who can I obey? Uh, I'm so far from home, no No God don't want me no more I'm way, way too low now Can't find a way outside this ghost town I be screaming, but I'm making no sound Nobody can notice me now Nobody can notice me now Do this to myself, can't stop and wait for help. Two seven cards dealt, full alone under my belt. Origami paper, hardly take a barley break a crop. Trying to make him break a crop, trying to make him break a I got weariness, deliriness, asylum chains mysterious. Can't believe the words she say to me, she's so serious. Screaming horrors are the fray. Some say the cope lay, she bumping that shit anyways with everyone around me. I don't understand this tear in my heart and burst it. Bust a cuff and bust a nut and make a picture. Perfect. 20 bucks is gummy fucks. Xanax really worth it. I think Nazi Pop Tarts and says, I'll see you when I'm not a fucking person. No more. Four doors. So poor. I don't even got more. Make a motherfucker so sore. Riding on my handlebars. Look, no hands. Oh Lord. Breaking up the Concord for an old whore. No okay. chore. This is how she kills me.